was in the hallway just praying because it was just scary. I didn't hear anything. I just saw the wind and the, and the rain. Wind, rain, and a funnel cloud pass through Oatland and Whitmarsh Island early Friday evening, tearing apart homes, cars, and schools in its path. You could feel the air blowing through our hall, even though all of the windows and doors were shut. And so we realized it was a tornado and all ran into the restrooms, the students' restroom, and hunkered down until it cleared. All of a sudden, the, the shed in the backyard started flying, and I heard all the pots back there just start cracking. Trees cracked in half, others completely uprooted. Power lines were strayed across the roadways, and Georgia Power reported more than 200 homes without power. Homeowner Becky Godry says she's just relieved no one in her family lost a limb. I heard this this um, drizzling in my closet and it was this big old tree. I mean, it looked like an arrow going right through my closet. I mean, that's that's how scary. I mean, if somebody was standing right there, probably would have went, went right through their head. Thankfully, no one was injured, but the storm ripped through the region using the element of surprise. We practice all the time with the children, but you know, when you're sitting here on a work day, you're not really in that mode of thinking of that. Teachers at Marsh Point Elementary School were shaken up in their classrooms when the storm tore off part of its roof and shattered classroom windows. Teachers abandoned their cars, busted in the faculty parking lot. Islands High School saw damage to its athletic fields and bleachers. It's just a very scary, scary, you know, ordeal to go through. Now looking back at the hasty storm's impact, neighbors say they're thankful they escaped with their lives. I am more than blessed. I thank God every minute, you know, because I mean, anything could have happened. Danny Dykes, WSAV News 3.